kids. Aloha. And anyone else is watching. The other day I did something on the uh, potash uh, in my fire pit. And that was on the feral cat, feral family. And that was um, the potash, which I happen to have some right here. Potash is very important, kids. Potash, and whoever else is watching, potash is um, high in potassium. Potassium is what you need to stay alive, kids. Without, um, without potassium, oh boy, your brain doesn't work very well at all. In fact, there's studies showing lack of potassium. The kids don't learn. Also, it's a, a metabolic uh, situation, too, with growing. So we have, uh, let's see, potassium is good for the liver. It's a liver cleanse, positive for the kidneys. It's, uh, boy, again, for the heart. Anything with the muscles and the, trans the transmission of the nervous system, which you have to have in your brain to think. So this is a little bit of the uh, potash with water. That's all you have to do, kids. I'm just trying to show you the real simplicity of this. Then you just stir it up. You stir it up real good. I could probably use a better stir, but this will probably just work fine. And I only got this about mm, quarter, a third full, a third full of uh, goodies of potash. And by the way, kids, it's uh, your grandparents and great grandparents that were probably tons stronger than you are. <laughs> because they had more potassium than you do. We're, our foods are not getting potassium. And do you know why that is? Do you know? Well, I'm going to tell you. We, back in the day, everybody was in a uh, coal, not a coal, it was um, a wood a wood stove. So you had nothing but potash afterwards. What did, what did they do? Well, the farmers would put it around their plants. So they had plenty to go around. And we don't have that opportunity anymore, kids. Know why? Because big big little farmers have sold out to the big conglomerates that overuse the soil and do not use potash so we're not getting the potassium that we used to back in the day so that's where everybody's hmm, probably not as strong and as alert as they should be so all you have to do kids is when you go out back you have your little bonfire hopefully it's in a contained area which is definitely a safety rule. If not, the fire department will come over and tell you to contain your fire. So I'm giving you a heads up. Make sure you have boulders around it and go down deep with the digging. And what you have left is a bunch of potash. And again, it is something that our body has not been getting. And that's the other story I wanted to say. See, I'm doing a little experiment. <laughs> I had one tomato plant left. And there she is. She was about... Oh man, half the size uh, a couple weeks ago. And I did that episode on tomatoes and uh, corn and uh, crystals, that one. And right after that, I said, you know, I got one tomato plant left. And I think I'll go out there and start talking to my elementals. So I talked to my elementals and said, elementals, this guy needs help. So I did nothing different. I know I didn't give you a before, but at least I'm giving you something now. I had nothing but a bunch of roots showing, and then I finally, all I did, all I've done is just put some organic dirt, this kind of organic dirt, which by the way, lightning got into, he strewed it all over the property. He likes dirt, should have called him Digger, but um, so I gotta go buy some more organic dirt. But I did have enough in there to just at least cover up the root system. Now this is gonna be a plant that's going to be very strong because it went through the whole summer of Arizona out in the sun with 119 degrees many a day. It might have got up to 120 that one time. So it was able to get through that and that's what happens. Whenever you have a plant that is able to withstand immense cold, immense heat, it, the seeds, those are the seeds you want to hold on to because they'll, be, they'll make it through the next season much better and you'll have much healthier goodies. This is a fruit. Tomato is a fruit. So what I'm going to do is simply put, I guess i got to get some more water, water in this guy, and we're going to just put some in there, and we're going to do an experiment. This, this plant is going to have potassium, and that's what I'm saying, kids. Not only your body needs potassium, but that's what, that's what your plants need that are not getting this anymore. So we'll just do an experiment. Do an experiment with, uh, when you go and do your seeds. You kids are gonna get to plant a seed. Uh, whatever episode it, that is, 
I got to plant one. It was corn. I gave the sister a hard time about it, but I, I got my way. I was able to plant some corn. What I'm saying is when you come down to whether you're, you're doing it in school or just planting flowers, do some with some potash and do some without. And just mark my words, the one with potash is going to take off like a, like a racket. So we got enough water in here now for sure. So we're going to do a little stirring, a little more stirring, stir, stir, stir. And right now, you can probably just get away with what I got here. I'm going to throw this, not throw it, but pour it as soon as I find that. And see what we got here. We're going to put this gently. Oh, baby. Hard to do it with one arm. Okay. We got to do this. Here we go. We can do it. Okay, here she goes. All right, elementals, we got your, we got some food for you to work on this plant. And this is only just, the, I'm not really throwing anything like the real ash in there right now. I'm just putting the, the ash, potassium water. See, what I'll do later is I'll take a little shovel and then put it in there. But that's basically it, kids, to get a, a nice little potash mixture around your plants and they're gonna take off again this is all I have now by the way this is a uh, tomato plant that is gonna be yellow a yellow pear I love little yellow pears they're so sweet they're, they're almost like the little red ones the little cherry tomatoes but the, they're a little sweeter the yellow so this is what I got for you today a little short one that how you can take care of your plants and become stronger more alert and it affects the muscles, it affects everything. Just look up what potassium, what, what do you need in your body for potassium? What does potassium do? Just do a little vetting to see if Uncle Martin's talking the truth, which I try to do every time I talk to you. So until then, aloha, be well, and God victory with all your plants.